hi there, hi there. This side didn't turn out, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens in crafting. But hi there, welcome to Our Gray House. I'm Lisa, and if you're new here, I share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you're into that too, be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that YouTube should notify you every time I upload a video. Now today's video is a, I've got one quick craft for you guys. Also, Captain is in frame, but that's okay. But this is also a giveaway video, and I'm gonna tell you what's going in the box and how to enter that in just a second. But let's first do a quick craft. Captain is a supervisor on duty today, and I'm gonna be painting this piece of wood using Rust-Oleum's Ultramat paint in the color, chalked Ultramat paint in the color linen white. But first, Captain's gonna use the camera mount to scratch his chin, because I guess he had an itch. I don't know. Anyway, I found this piece of wood in Hobby Lobby's clearance section, and I encourage you guys to go check that out because you just never know what you're gonna find. And I start to give it a coat, but first I wanna show you my inspo piece that I found at Hobby Lobby. Now, while this isn't very expensive, it's le it's like $9.99, so you could get it 50% off, but I thought, you know, I've got that piece of wood at home, I have paint, I have a Cricut, I could probably make it myself. And I was gonna make a double-sided sign, like happy on one side and something else on the other, but I'll show you that. So I did use my Cricut to print out the word happy. And if you don't have a Cricut machine, no worries. You can either hand letter, you can use stickers from the Dollar Tree, or you can use the carbon paper and trace those letters on there. So I just get it on there as good as I can. I'm still learning how to do the Cricut and the transfer tape and get it all off and not have it peel off. It's a little, it's a work in progress, but I think I'm getting better. So now I'm putting on the other side of the sign and it's supposed to say, hi there. And I used a Ray Dunn kind of font. I forget what it's actually called, but I think I found it on Cricut. It's like porch swing or shiplap or something like that. Anyway, I, I know, yes, it's thin letters and I start applying the Waverly wax in the color antique on the front. And of course I do it on the back and on the top and on the sides because I wanted that like reveal where, it, where I pull back the letters and it's gonna be white letters underneath. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> so I start to pull the letters on the high there side and wow, it just was not really working. And even with Captain's assistance and, and guidance, I wasn't able to, to really make it look like I wanted to. So I ultimately kind of give up, flip it over, start working on the happy sign because that was the main sign anyway that I was trying to go for. And yeah, so the letters come up pretty easily. But when I had wiped off the wax, it wiped off a little too much. I wanted it to look a little darker brown. So I go back in and try to very carefully, very gently add some wax back onto the project so it looks like a little bit darker. I actually did okay on this part. Didn't really mess it up. <laughs> so And this is how it turned out. I think it looks a lot like the inspo piece and I will go back at some point and finish the other side, maybe redo it, repaint it, I'm not sure. But I'm happy with how it turned out and I hope you like it too. To celebrate how happy I am that I reached 1,000 subscribers, I decided to do a 1K giveaway. I gathered up some crafty items from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put them in a box and send them to one lucky winner. All I need you to do is subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. And on Instagram, once you're done with those two things, leave me a cat emoji to let me know that you did that on the post that features this project. And if you're saying to yourself, hey Lisa, but what will I win? Well, let me show you. So I'm gonna send you some nautical rope because are you really a crafter? If you haven't used Dollar Tree nautical rope, I'm not sure, that's a question for yourself. And I'm gonna be sending you these wreath rings. There's two of them. These chalkboard tag clothespins. This baker's twine. This chalkboard pencil. Is it a pencil? Chalk writer to go with those chalkboard 
clothespins, some burlap trim, some cracked clamps, these rub-on transfers, these cacti rub-on transfers, this cork sheet, and these metal tags. I found these at my doll train. I thought they were pretty cute. And the farmer's market calendar, the 2021. It's unopened. It's brand new. Well, it's not brand I mean, it's new. Not brand new. I didn't just buy it. But yeah, I have one. So I'm going to be sending it to you in this little crafter, crafty DIY box type situation. So... Again, all you have to do is subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and once you're done that, on Instagram, under the post that features this project, leave me a cat emoji, and you're entered. The contest ends Sunday, June 27th at 10 p.m. Central Time, and I'll announce the winner on my Instagram post on Monday, June 28th, which also happens to be not only my sister's birthday, but my son-in-law's birthday, so it's a happy day for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. And I do hope you enter my contest. It's a pretty easy one, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's not really hard to enter it. And I hope you have an awesome day. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!